Hello Revolution Prep, my name is Jacqueline Sutherland and I would like to talk to you today about politics. But no one really likes to talk about politics, no one really likes to learn about politics, so I wanted to come at it from a little bit of a different angle. I love Star Wars and the really fun and interesting thing about Star Wars is that it is extremely politically driven. From the original trilogy where you have the rebellion happening against the Empire, who is this huge dictatorship that is controlled by one guy who um, has been in power for seemingly forever, and his, well, hired goon is one way to describe Darth Vader, um, is, it, it's just... It's phenomenal, but really the politics of the prequel trilogy are even better because you really get a look at how government works, or at least how government should work. Take for instance there, the scene between Anakin and Padme when they're hiding out on Naboo from the bounty hunters who are after her to kill her, and you have Anakin look at Padme and say, we need a system where all of the people, or at least their representatives, sit down, talk about the issues, figure out what's in the best interest of all of the people, and then do it. And Padme says, well, that's what we do. The trouble is that people can't always agree on what's best for them. And Anakin says, well, they should be made to. She says, that sounds an awful lot like a dictatorship. And that moment, that discussion of politics is just, it's wonderful because you can get this feel for what a democracy should be or what a republic should be. And I can bring that over to real life. Our country, the United States of America, is a democratic republic. We have a system where our representatives, the elected representatives for each state, get together they talk about the issues, they talk about the problems, and theoretically they figure out what is in the best interest of the most amount of people, and then they do it. The problem is, again, they can't always decide what's in the best interest of X number of people. And then you have the wonderful factions and political parties that play into all of it. In Star Wars, you have the Separatists, you have the Rebellion, you have the Empire eventually. In our political system, we have Republicans, we have Democrats, we have Libertarians, the Green Party, Independents, and numerous other um, political parties who don't tend to make the news as much, so we don't really worry about them. Typically, you hear the most about Republicans and Democrats. You hear that Republicans are extremely conservative. They're, ex they're usually white Christian um, people, and they tend to vote one way. And then you have the Democrats on the other side who are usually or are thought to be more liberal, um, have, they have different things that they want to achieve. The trouble with it is is that you don't have one person making all of the decisions. Or at least that's what Anakin thought the trouble was. The real trouble isn't that. The trouble is that people can't talk to each other. So you have a political system that is built around people needing to be able to talk to each other, needing to be able to discuss issues and discuss problems, but then you have a political system made up of people. And that is basically where real life and Star Wars meet, is in politics. So if you want to understand American politics, go watch Star Wars.